Hey guys, today I wanted to show you some uh, some squirrel meat that I got from those squirrels on that video and I want to give you a video today about how to cook it. I like to fry it so I'm going to show you a little recipe that I use to fry the squirrel meat here. Now once you get it all quartered up and everything and back pieces and legs and all that it's good to cook now. Uh, after I quartered mine though I boiled it to get all the blood out of the meat so that's pretty good. After you boil it you can do I, I usually you can do anything you want some people don't boil it but I do like I said to get the blood out but today we're gonna fry it I got the flour here like so you just pour it in this little bowl here I'm gonna put the lid on it after I get the meat in there and the seasoning I'm gonna put the lid on it and shake it okay so let's get a plate here I'll put some meat on there and the trick is to get a good tender meat from squirrel this is what I usually do I'll get the squirrel meat here and I also forgot to mention soak it in milk or salt water for a few hours just to get, if you want to get that wild flavor out because some people won't eat it now don't get me wrong I'll eat it anyway soaked or non soaked but it gives it a good flavor when you do soak it so let me get some legs here hopefully they're not all gone I'm gonna save the back straps and put them in a like some kind of stew or something here so we got these legs here and now some of this meat like I found out that the gray squirrel and the fox squirrel have a little different flavor and I don't know if it's just me or what but I think they either one of them's a little bit tougher or something because it tastes a little tougher to me but we'll figure it out here we get all these pieces out see that's all the pieces that are left those are the back straps that's the good soft meat and some of them I kept that were on the rib cage because that's good meat too kind of like off a of deer but anyhow this meat right here is not seasoned yet so we're going to use some seasoned meat tenderizer now you can get this in any brand almost at any store or grocery store in the seasoning aisle or spices aisle now what I do I made this earlier today and I didn't record it but I'll show you guys what I do now you just take your seasoning here and do this over it just cover it up on one side gives it a little flavor too because it's like seasoning salt but it makes your meat on the squirrel tender flour it and we'll flip it over and do the same there's all kinds of recipes out there but this is pretty simple and easy to make especially when you're craving something and you got food in your refrigerator that's wild game and you want some of it so you do the same on this side here lightly sprinkle each side I'm holding it on my phone my phone's got a better quality than our actual video cameras do okay now they're pre-seasoned now since your flour is just plain we're going to take some black pepper and we I got this little handheld shaker like so and you put it on the big notch here and just cover that flour up real good or you could instead of doing it that way because you're going to be mixing your meat up too you can also I'm going to go ahead and coat I'm going to put this on the sprinkler, the little sprinkle here. It's that different setting here, if you can see that. Then I'm going to put it uh, through the squirrel here. Salt and pepper, basically. Gives a little spice to it. Not too much of a spice, but you, 
you don't have to do this recipe I'm just doing it because this is the way I like to do it people uh, do it different many ways I mean there's all kinds of ways you can do this instead of just frying it you can bake it you can do uh, uh, stew there's all kinds of combinations but I'm just gonna fry it tonight and cook some mashed potatoes so there's your meat coated with pepper now we're gonna go ahead and stick these in here now I didn't rinse the meat off after I soaked it in milk all night so it's got like a little uh, milk film on it that's good because your flour is going to stick to it you just put all that meat in there like that and then I'll go ahead and shake it put the lid on You're shaking your meat here getting it coated for the pan let's take a look at it here that's pretty good it looks like chicken tastes better than chicken though back on shake a little more see I'm, a, I'm doing it all kinds of ways here kind of like uh, just making sure every piece gets some breading on it all right I think that's pretty good now we're gonna do the stove we're gonna turn the stove on here I'm going to use the front one here, put it on a medium heat, then we'll get a pan, I'm going to get a big enough pan down here, that should suffice, now we'll get a cover, that way that meat can just sit there and uh, bask all its smells and uh, flavor and keeps it in the pan. So that's pretty nice. Now we're going to get some oil here. Now I'm going to just take a little bit of oil and pour it on the pan. I want it the bottom, like the, the surface of the pan right there, just to have a coating. Because I made this earlier and I put a little too much oil in it. It had a flour, like a flour oil going on and it didn't taste right. Cause some of the meat that I cooked was a little soggy, but that should be good. Now you can use uh, canola or vegetable for this. I'm, I got vegetable on hand, so that's what I'm using right now. All right, let's go back and get our meat. Now that we got our meat over here, I'm gonna go ahead and set it in the pan because the pan's pretty warm now. Let's see here, just take your meat here. Sit it in like that. Now on some of these pieces I probably didn't get every hair, but I'm not a big stickler on that. Some people are. But sometimes you can't help it the way you skin the squirrel. It just doesn't cooperate, especially if you get the wrong shot. So
adjust it here to get every piece. Now you can also do it this way too after you shake it just to get a little bit of more coating on there. See how the pan's getting a little floury? I don't like that, but oh well. Okay for now. Alright, so we're going to let this cook and I'll, uh, and I'll give you a another sequence of the video here after it's done. Uh, you want it for instructions though on cooking it, you just want it to get it golden brown or to whatever you want. I mean some people like it real super crunchy and some people like it kind of uh, chewy but I just want to get it golden brown. So I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to go ahead and put this on there that way the grease don't pop, doesn't pop everywhere and it savors that flavor. So I'll get back to you in a minute. Alright, so I got the uh, I got the light on over the stove and the fan because it's kind of smoky, especially if you're frying stuff. But uh, what you want to do is you want to flip uh, the piece over after about five to ten minutes of frying. Since it's already cooked, it really doesn't matter, but you want that coating to get nice and brown. So this is kind of like a second uh, second cook here. Some of these pieces are weird shapes, so you got to make sure you get them in the pan there. Turn it over. Let that cook again for about 10 minutes on the side. Just get a little flour on it. Okay. Be better to have a deep fryer, but uh, I don't. So just work with what we got here. But it doesn't look like I'm doing too bad of a job. Meat's starting to look good. be done here in about five minutes. Get another plate here. Set the swirl on after it's done. Cover that back up for about another three to five minutes there. Should be pretty good. See your coating, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see the pepper in there. It kind of looks like a KFC coating. And I think that's what the, uh, see I got part of this recipe like off the website, off a web page where you, they said to um, add so much salt and flour to a bowl to mix it and stuff like that, but uh, you just do whatever works for you, and I thought this was good, so I'm making the video on it, and I hope you guys like it, hope you go out and try it yourself too, because it's delicious.
getting this golden brown. long to cook either that's a good thing because once it only takes you like uh 10 minutes to boil it and if you want to soak it i'd soak it for at least two hours but if not you turn around and put it in the pan and this meal is done in like 10 minutes especially if you, the more you make it the faster you get at it Here's what you don't like right here. This pan's leaving like a powder, it's a flour and grease residue. That's what I don't like because it makes your meat a little soggy as the coating. But I lightly coated these and I didn't put that much oil in it so it won't be that bad. So that makes it good. One more. Here's what it looks like, guys, when it's done. Nice, golden brown, crunchy squirrel meat. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm, I enjoyed making it because I'm getting ready to eat this. But uh, I want to tell you guys thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Uh, stay tuned for another video. Thanks.